Hi guys. I am simply blown away by how nice y'all were in the comments of my last video. Special thanks to all of you who subscribed. I'm so excited to create more stories for you. I wrote a Tamaki Amajiki story and I'll read it to you right now. Tamaki almost fainted when he saw you. Almost fainting was a common feeling for him, but he felt it a lot more around you for some reason. All it took was one of your quirky smiles or hearing your cute chuckle or you giving him a curious look and he'd spin around with his head to the wall. This time, it was because the sunlight set your hair glowing like a halo as you stood in the doorway and the thought, she's like an angel, had popped into his head. You looked at Tamaki curiously as you walked in, wondering if you could get him to turn around for once. Why did he always hide? You wanted to get to know him better, but you couldn't do that if he always hid his face in the wall. You'd seen him bravely and competently face off with villains, so you didn't understand why you made him nervous. You considered the situation. It was probably because he hadn't been friends with you as long as he'd been friends with Mirio and Nedjure. But come on, you thought impatiently. Hiding wasn't going to make it better. An idea popped into your head. Maybe he needed exposure therapy. You'd heard about it in your psych class. The idea was that if someone is afraid of something, like spiders or heights, then exposing them to that thing in small steps allows their brain to get used to it until the fear goes away. Determined, you walked over to Tamaki, standing to his side as he rested his head on the wall. Hi, Tamaki, you greeted. Hi, listener, he stuttered, his elfin face adorable even when he was terrified. He put a hand on his shoulder and felt him tense up. Is this okay? You asked. Yes, he said hastily, hoping he hadn't offended you. I don't want you to be nervous around me, Amajiki. Tamaki cringed, feeling responsible for the hassle that his anxiety was apparently causing you. Hey, it's okay, you reassured, reading him correctly. I'm your friend. I'd like to help you overcome your nervousness. Is it all right if I try? Tamaki nodded, trembling. Okay, good. Let me know if you want me to stop. Without hesitating further, you pushed his shoulder, turning him away from the wall to face you. He was trying desperately to look anywhere except at you. Look at me, Amajiki, you encouraged. Tamaki reluctantly made himself look down at you, meeting your gaze. Your beautiful eyes, looking up at him encouragingly, struck him so much that he forgot to be nervous. He gazed at you in wonder. Poor Tamaki was completely entranced by his angel friend. You were startled by the way he continued to look into your eyes. And in a strange reversal of roles, you became the nervous one, a blush dusting across your cheeks. The blush only made your beautiful eyes stand out even more. Tamaki couldn't look away. Amajiki! Oh! Mirio stopped short as he saw you standing together. Mirio's sudden appearance sent Tamaki into a panic. Without thinking, he hid his face in the crook of your neck instead of the wall. In the shocked silence that followed, he realized what he'd done and blushed deeply. You broke out of your daze. It's okay, Tomoki. I can be your wall, you know, you reassured, wrapping your arms around the tall boy. He was too nervous to lift his head from your shoulder, but he put his arms around you lightly, hesitantly. When you seemed fine with it, he hugged back for real. Your hug was surprisingly comforting to him, way better than a wall. He suddenly knew that from that moment forward, he would turn to you instead of the wall whenever he felt overwhelmed. And your cute little hands pressing warmly onto his back told him that you wouldn't mind. Thanks, listener, he murmured. You seemed impossibly precious to him as he held you close. His heart filled with affection and protectiveness of you as you dazedly noticed that he hadn't stuttered. A grinning Mirio ghosted away to tell Nedjure. That was pretty short. It just felt like the natural ending though when I wrote it. But I think I would like to make a sequel for this one, which will be really fun to write, since we already have that connection in place between Tamaki and Listener. 
I have my next few vids planned with other characters though, so it'll have to wait a bit. I look forward to chatting with you guys in the comments, and I hope you have a great day.